Gastrointestinal endoscopy has now become the mainstay of treatment of many gastrointestinal diseases. The evolution of gastrointestinal endoscopy has actually paralleled the evolution of material science and physics. In fact, in 1950s, we were seeing inside the stomach using this gastro camera. This followed the rigid endoscopy that Schindler introduced in 1930s. The gastro camera was a very interesting device which actually started first in Japan. Uh, the camera would be attached to the tip of the endoscope. One couldn't actually see into the endoscope. But uh, once you go inside at different positions of the stomach, we would take multiple pictures and then these pictures were subsequently developed. This was a very tedious procedure, would give only half the information, but that was the only way we could see inside the esophagus and stomach in 1950s. In 57, a revolution occurred when Basil Hipsovitz introduced the fiber optic endoscopy. Fiber optic endoscopy revolutionized not only diagnostic endoscopy but therapeutic endoscopy because it showed us that we not only see what's inside the gastrointestinal tract but very often we could remove the polyps that we see and in 1973 came the revolutionary biliary spintrotomy and removal of bile duct stones by Kawai and Klassen. The fiber optic endoscopy is what we all trained in in early 80s and uh, it used to be a very difficult scope to see through. You can see the scope which had a fiber optic head here. We had to actually see through the scope and then manipulate the scope. Uh, it was very difficult to demonstrate what was happening out to the outside world and often we used to attach very heavy cameras to this to see what was happening. So workshops, demonstrations and lectures were often difficult. Nevertheless, over the next 10 or 15 years, this was a mainstay of the treatment of many gastrointestinal diseases. It took over seven decades for gastrointestinal endoscopy to evolve to its present form. And of course, in 2002, a high definition endoscopy was introduced for the first time. In 2003, we started becoming more aggressive as several ESD devices were introduced. And I remember the excitement we had of doing the first trans natural orifice transfemoral endoscopic surgery, removing the appendix from the mouth. And simultaneously, as the technology improved, it got transported into bronchoscopy in other areas. And of course, uh, then came the capsule endoscopy, a wireless technique which resulted in the introduction of a capsule with the camera into the gastrointestinal tract and the ability to see the unknown frontier, the small intestine with this. In 2009, several new X-rays started getting introduced, the revolutionary guidewires and so on. And as these revolutions occurred, we had the better ability to demonstrate, to showcase what was happening in endoscopy and endoscopy workshops became very popular. I remember in 2017, we did the first World Congress of Endoscopy in Hyderabad, attended by over 5,000 delegates where we could spectacularly show various endoscopic lesions diagnosed and treated at the same time. These scopes now have large channels and with better accessories we can do a variety of gastrointestinal interventions replacing conventional surgery. We are progressing further and now we have of course the disposable endoscopes like these which can now be used once and thrown off preventing infections in the patients. The era of uh, disposable endoscopes is arriving very rapidly with the same sophistication as the video endoscope with the same imaging technology and ability to do interventions. Disposable scopes once they become cost effective they become the way that we do GI endoscopy. To see all these developments and to see what is happening in the field of gastrointestinal endoscopy, I'd like to invite you all to come to the 22nd Endocon Conference, which is being held in Hyderabad, September 8th, 9th and 10th. When you come here, you'll not only see all these procedures, but you'll see a large number of international experts are going to come to this meeting. Many of these experts are world famous in their field, Horst Neuhaus, Jack Davia, Guido Costa Magna, Mark Giovanini, Klaus, Simon Lowe, Haro Inoui, Barham Abude, Pratik Sharma, Taka Itoi, Sham Vardarajulu, Philip Chui, Dong Wan CEO, Mustafa Abraham and Nalini Guda. We already have a large number of registrations and we expect about 3,000 delegates. There are going to be 75 dedicated lectures and of course uh, over 55 live procedures that are going to be shown of a variety of techniques including new devices, new techniques. For example, uh, we are going to show new clips how they can be used, um, new devices to in bariatric uh, surgery, new devices in third space endoscopy, new technologies that are going to be used both for ERCP and US. 
come to this very exciting meeting to see all these procedures to network with the, your friends to socialize and to enjoy the famous hospitality of Hyderabad.